So now we're looking at Microsoft Excel uh, just bare bones. We've just turned it on and what are we taking a look at? Well, we see that grid-like structure that we just talked about. You know, you see that I have A1 sort of being my current cell. This is known as my active cell. And wherever I click, say for example, I click right here, notice how I'm talking about the K column and the row 24. So this is way, some way for me to identify this is what I'm talking about. And one of the things I said was, let's say I put 10 inside of uh, C3. If I hit enter, it will go to the right alignment. And now what I can do, and I'll just zoom in a little bit so we can see this a little bit more in action. If I come over here to B4 and I go equals, now what I can do is I can actually click on C3. Instead of typing it out, I can actually just click. Notice what happens. C3 automatically appears on the screen times 10. Now, as soon as I hit enter, you know, I'm not going to see this. I'm going to see 100. But notice what I had to type in there. If I had just typed in C3 times 10, I would have just gotten text. One of the things that we have to do inside of Microsoft Excel is we have to start any mathematical equation with the equal sign. That tells Microsoft Excel explicitly, hey, I'm going to do an equation. I'm going to do some type of cell referencing and I would like you to just at least evaluate that later. Now what I can do is inside of C3, because C3 is uh, just a number, if I change that number to something like 20, that number changes everywhere I have it being cell reference. So I have it here. And if I were to come down here and then make a reference to that, say divided by 5, and then this uh, plus 30, if I make one simple change here, all of those numbers change because this one is dependent on this one this one is dependent on this one, and this one is dependent on this one. 